Hey guys, uh, today we're going to be cleaning up the seats and this is what it looked like right now. They were in better condition and I got just left them outside because I'm like, ah, I won't ever need them again and I'm just like, you know what, I shouldn't let them go to waste. So this is what they look like before and get out of here. This is what they look like after I clean them. This has got some rust stains, it always had that in the trunk space. Uh, I might try to get those out. I'm not really sure how. Some oxy clean or some crap. I don't know. But um, they're a bit damp, so I'm gonna kill the mold on there with some like microban or some antibacterial stuff. Just kill it and wipe it down, vacuum it. Hello. Uh, I guess I've already started this episode a few days ago. Um, I'm, I gotta put the seat in, or the seat belt in, and it's not dry in there, and there's mold on the steering wheel starting to grow, so I'm gonna go start it up and clean all the mold out, and it's, it's impossible to keep that thing dry, man. It's so wet, I need like a car cover or something. It's ridiculous. So I went inside and cleaned all the mold out. And right here you see is the measurements that I took of the trunk. And so I'm gonna make a square that will fit in the trunk so that I can have a flat spot in the trunk in which I can put stuff if I want to. Cause right now the wood that's in there is gone. And over there is where the um, roll cage is. So or I'm not gonna put any wood there, I just, I'm going to leave it carpet because it became too complicated and I just really wanted a usable trunk space which would be that part and it, and it uh, looked good. So I took some flooring and put it together. Here is the flooring out of the basement and here is what it's going to look like basically. I got some tongue and groove glue. I'm going to take it and just go along the grooves there. And, or the tongue and groove and just glue them together and then I'm going to cut it to the size and we will slap it in. gotta relax it's late I'm tired I didn't start working on it till it was too late and dark and wet see you tomorrow hello I wouldn't do any talking yesterday because I uh, was there was like music going on in here and people working my dad is uh, I'll show you outside when I go outside to the uh, I gotta get a hose for him he's taking these wine barrels and he's making them look like this, which is really sick. And he's putting doors on them so that they um, open up. Whoop. Oh, this is the floor, by the way, that is going in the car. Those wine barrels, which are some over there, they're gonna go around those posts there so um, you don't see the concrete at the bottom. And I think. It'll look cool, and I think my dad does too. I got it. I got it. I got the hose, and I'm gonna go give it to him. And then we will get started on taking that wood flooring and putting it in here. And that's gonna look sick, I hope. And uh, it's kind of getting rusty because I didn't paint it because I wanted to see if it cracked at all anywhere once I started using it. Cause you know, that can be very dangerous if uh, your roll cage cracks and you don't want that. This is a gas flipping hell. This is gas line. This isn't a hose. Okay, well, I'll be back. Uh, when I get hose and come back and start working on the car. Stupid. I'm stupid.
Hello. I'm back. I'm gonna cut this out. Here it is, I kind of broke one of the rules of making things, which is measure twice, cut once. I measured once, cut four cuts. <laughs> cool. So, we'll see how that treats me. Um, I made it so that it should hit this and not sit quite right until I notch, notch it there. But I wanted to make sure, and it might be a little too wide, and and that's what I wanted. It's the one I snug fit. So, uh, put you guys on here. If you guys up, how y'all doing? Oh, you guys. Okay, that looks good, huh? I kind of made a mistake. A big mistake. I was going to leave these out. Um, and then I kind of forgot. So I'm going to have to cut pieces after. Because I think I'm going to put the carpet underneath still. Maybe not underneath here, but... And this, oh, I thought this was gonna be straight. There's a gap here, but that's okay. Cause I need somewhere to, to lift it up from to get in there if I need to. Well, that looks, that looks pretty cool. Sweet. Yeah. So now I'm gonna make these pieces. I think I'm gonna make them kind of permanent. So, I'll admit it, I got a little lazy. I have some pieces I started marking up, cutting. I got a piece of cardboard the shape of the wedges on the side. And I was thinking, uh, I don't have the right saw. You know, a scroll saw would be amazing for doing this. And I don't, this is just cosmetic. Anyways, I could just put this piece of wood under the carpet and it would make no difference. Uh, I didn't do that, but I just left it as it was and clean the carpet up a little bit because the carpet was cut really poorly. So there you go, the carpet in the corners and the carpet in those corners and it doesn't look bad. We've got our usable trunk space back here and um, I have this piece, let me go get that um, for here. And then um, I can close this up, I should vacuum that, but I can close this up and I, I don't have to come back here again. I got the speakers back in there. I didn't clean these as well as I should have. I should probably have the vacuum on those, but uh, I'm gonna get that bar across here. I'm gonna go grab that real quick. Ah, hello. So when I got the car, I noticed there was this in the glove compartment. I didn't know what it was, but I just went to go put this back on and I seen this was missing and one of the holes is goobered over. Fucking weird. Anyways, I figured that this goes in here and I figured right. Now, oh. I don't know if that's the right screw. It's too long. I don't think I have the right screws for it. And that one holds goobered out pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go find the screws. Try cleaning that off with my knife. So you have an exacto knife on me? No, I don't. Yeah, it's like goo. That's weird. You're just like goo. All right. Well, now that I got the goo off, 
I'm going to look for some screws that... Whoa! Hello? Oh no. I think I broke it. I better not have broken it. I didn't break it. <laughs> Blick, blah, 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 blah. Okay. I'm gonna go find some screws. I'm gonna screw those in. We'll put this on. Close her up. And we're gonna get the seatbelts on. Let's go. The only screws I can find were kind of big, but we'll see boing, 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 boing. if they will work. And they're Robertson because that's the only type of freaking screw you should ever use. You Americans would be using it too if it wasn't for Ford. There they are, and click. Clickety 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 click. That's all in. And you close that up. And bing bang bungo bongo. Bingo bongo bungo. We got that all wrapped up. Now it's time. So I did the back straps for the car. And I haven't done any of the other straps. The one that I'm worried about the most is the the one that I'm worried about the most is the floor strap. I talk way too fast when I'm recording. Um, and so I'll show you what I've done. I've done these, right? Which let me pull this up forward a bit. Oh, that's wet. It's wet a little bit. <laughs> so this one is not going to be a big deal. Um, I'm just going to. And then the other side, which is inside right now, I also probably have to do the same thing. I mean, I could try to go to that bolt there. Um, but uh, it's not, that's not really the proper way of doing it. Yeah, it's not really great there. So I'll try to maybe go in the tunnel. I'm going to crawl under there right now and take a look and see. Oh, jack the car up. Get where that tunnel is. And then... Um, See if I can fit my hand in there, and if I get a bolt in there, that's where I'll do it. Yeah, should be good enough. Big washer and some bolts. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Building a little race car. Wow. So I got this one bolted in. Um, it wouldn't go, like this still moves around like a regular seatbelt, because this hole wasn't big enough to go into that spot, so I thought, well, if it's gonna sit here anyways, might as well keep this on. So change of plan uh, after my snack. Uh, my girlfriend has she plays the bassoon, and her bassoon she bought the fella shipped it to the states, and a big story happened. Anyways, they have like an ivory ring on the very top, and well, the guy removed it. He like burned it off. It was like destroyed the ivory and replaced it with this plastic. Gross. So I had my friend Will build, uh, mill out a new ring out of maple. And it looks really nice. So we're going to go pick that up now because he just texted me that it's finished. So probably not going to get the car done today. But I'll show you this. So this will be cool. We have arrived. I'm here to rob Will's house. No. You are here also to rob his house and get the ring. The one to rule them all. Also, I'm gonna rob that. I'll rob his Mazda, it's gonna be mine. This is Will, he made the ring, the one to rule them all. Mm -hmm. it is. It's finally done. We're gonna see it fitted. Onto the bassoon. Oh, so thing. nice, man. This was the temporary ring. Oh yeah. Totally yeah. different. <laughs> also, just gnarly. Gross and yucky. Let's see this fit on there now. There we go. All right. Set space on there. Yeah. From the one, because you also get the, the glue's kind of amber, so you oh, can't right. see so that color there. gap. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I figured because I tried to measure that one, and I thought like I got all the all the spaces right, all the tolerances pretty much exact. So I figured it should. Oh, that's just pretty cool. 
That was yeah, such so a perfect like fit, man. If I let this video go on any longer, it'll be way too long, so I'll probably just release a more in-depth video with the rest of the footage that I have when I actually completed putting the seatbelt in. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you next time.